Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Extraction. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you guys should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go completely blind, then it's just come back to this review once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? Sometimes I do other things. So Extraction stars Chris Hemsworth as Tyler Rake. You may remember him as Thor from the MCU. In Extraction, a black market mercenary embarks on his most deadly mission yet to save the son of an imprisoned crime lord. And so we have Extraction. So guys, yep, it's uh, been a while since I've actually talked about any new movies because of obvious reasons. And I've considered actually watching some that I missed or going on Netflix or Amazon Prime to find some new movies. But none of them really, you know, piqued my interest. Until it was a couple of weeks ago that I heard that Chris Hemsworth had a new movie out. And when I saw a couple of the first images from this movie, I thought, oh, this is just going to be another 12 strong. Not a bad movie, but, you know, not exactly anything great. But I figured, you know what, I really like Chris Hemsworth as an actor, so I figured I was going to give this one a watch. So... What do I think of Extraction? Well, I want to get my first major nitpick out of the way, and it's kind of the same issue that I have with most movies that do this. Because the first couple of minutes of this film shows a scene that is pretty much towards the very end of the film. Even before I actually getting to that scene, I knew that this was a scene that was going to be towards the end. And I just don't get why movies do this. Now, don't get me wrong, there are movies that do benefit from this, like detective stories or mysteries in general. But for a film like this, it just really offered nothing, and I really question the fact of why it was there. Honestly, take this scene out and just pretty much start from the beginning and it makes no difference. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to what I loved about this film. First of all, you just cannot go wrong with Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth in the recent years has just been showing off what an amazing actor he is. First little thing, I'm glad that they did make his character Australian. Not that I think that any accents that he's done in the past are particularly bad. I just think that it's nice to show off a bit of a character who's more like him. And I know Thor in the recent years has been turning a bit more into Chris Hemsworth as he's been kind of adding his own spin to it. But to be honest, I really love what Chris Hemsworth and the MCU have been doing with Thor's character in the recent years. And I just really like to see where he takes that in the future. But as for this movie, I just thought, nice little touch for that one. But going a bit more into Chris Hemsworth character, I thought that he was just amazing in this. Now, Chris Hemsworth's character is a little bit of a cliche. He's not exactly anything that we haven't seen before. But honestly, for me, that doesn't detract from how awesome his character was. Not only could he kick ass on the same level as John Wick, but just some of the more emotional moments that he has were just brilliantly acted. Like, there's this one scene where he confides in one of the other characters, and it was just incredible. And while this movie isn't a comedy by really any stretch of the imagination, some of the few comedic beats that this film has, and Chris Hemsworth's character has, just always landed for me. Like when the violence is just getting too over the top, it's just absolutely hilarious. And some of the more comedic action sequences that he has just always landed for me as well. And that leads me into the action for this film. Because for me, with action movies, I can forgive a lot of the shortcomings with them if the action is good. Because really, for films like this, the story is never really anything that sticks with you. You always remember the action set pieces. I mean, even with John Wick, though I do really like the story and the world building in John Wick, more often than not, the things you remember from those movies are the action set pieces. And without those action scenes, John Wick would have never achieved the cult status that it has achieved today. And action is something that Extraction excels at. Because there's no stupid shaky cam, you can see everything that's going on, and the fight choreography is excellent. Now, if I was being brutally honest, some of it is a bit ridiculous and a bit over the top, but honestly, Extraction just sells it. And again, a lot of that comes from Chris Hemsworth, because it's obvious that Chris Hemsworth did a lot, if not all, of his own action scenes in this film. And I was just thinking, look, the action's pretty much already great at the halfway point. How could they possibly top it? I know, how about a 7-10 to 10 minute long shot? Now you can tell there are quite a few cuts in this scene, but the way it's presented is just excellent. Amazing camera work, stunt work, fight choreography, driving sequences. Everything about this scene was just brilliant. And the scene just keeps going and going and going, to the point where I'm just thinking, this is still the same long shot? And I can't really say much else about the action that I haven't already said. Just overall, action, incredible. And though pretty much everyone else in this movie aren't exactly the most layered of characters, I just found that each individual relationships with one another and where they actually all fit in the story just really interesting. Like, there'd be this one minor character who you might end up forgetting about about halfway through or any time he's kind of not on screen, but then when they bring him back in later 
and they do something significant. It just really works for the story. And it just does a brilliant job of welding all these little characters into one cohesive story. And after this film finished, I just had to look up who wrote and directed this one. And the director was Sam Hargrave for this one. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. And I had to look up his body of work and I saw that he did quite a lot of stunts for the MCU movies. And it just pretty much goes to the show that stuntmen know how to do action. And as well, I saw the movie was written by Joe Russo. And if you don't know who Joe Russo is, he's one of the Russo brothers who co-directed and had a hand in writing The Winter Soldier, Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. So on top of this movie being really good, it's got a writer who I respect greatly. And as well, after this one, I wanted to look up the ratings to see if people agreed with what I thought about this film. And for the most part, people did tend to agree with what I said. Amazing action, the plot... Not exactly the most layered, but decent enough to get you through. And I saw that one of the greatest criticisms of this film was the fact that Bangladesh was not represented properly. And while I agree that is a very fair and warranted criticism, for me, it didn't ruin my viewing experience, so I can't exactly put it against the movie. Because honestly, myself personally, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is people who are misinformed or whether they are 100% right and are completely warranted in their criticisms. It's just for me... It didn't bother me, I didn't notice, so it's not something I'm going to bug the movie about. Overall, guys, I loved Extraction. I thought this was an amazing action movie. Chris Hemsworth was great in this, he was believable. His action scenes, and pretty much the action in the movie entirely, was just amazing. Not exactly the most layered of plots, but definitely an interesting one nonetheless. I don't know, I've said it loads in this review, I just really enjoyed this film. But now, as for whether or not, you guys should go and see it. Honestly, if you haven't figured it out already, I am definitely recommending you guys should watch this one. Obviously, the cinemas are closed, so you can't exactly go out and watch it, but thankfully, this movie is on Netflix, so go on Netflix, watch this movie. I guarantee that if you love action movies, you will love this one. But if you're going into this one expecting a layered and detailed and mystery of a plot or something like that, then I think you'll be a bit disappointed. But if you want to just watch some brilliantly choreographed action, then this movie is definitely for you. Okay, guys, that's my review of Extraction. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's your favourite hostage movie? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!